Okay, we have a problem in a only serviceable uh, shower <laughs> and we seem to have something backed up because we have brown water at the bottom of the shower. So I'm going to call my husband first. One of the problems when you first move in somewhere. Thankfully, it didn't happen yesterday. My dad had a fall a couple of days ago and he had to go to the hospital. They kept him and then brought him back to us after midnight. So, so the next day we was able, we were all able to have a shower, thank goodness. But uh, today the shower is no longer working. I mean, it's working, everything's backed up. So now I've got to find my husband. Let's have a look. Carl, we've got problem in the uh, bathroom and uh, it seems to be blocked. It's uh, starting going down, but okay, don't worry about the, the floor. It's gone down now, but um, it was all brown. We better go and check the system out the back then. Yeah. Let's go and have a look at the, uh, the drains around the back. From what the proprietor said, it feeds into into here, and then it's pumped up to the soakaway at the back. Let's see, work it back so we can find out where the problem is. Well, that's okay. Oh, no, that's all right. That's where the drains are coming in. Better not drop the phone. But that's okay, the float seems to be working. It's not blocked here, so it's got to be blocked between either here and here, or here and inside the house. Must be heavy. No, it's not too bad. That seems to be okay, although rather, rather full. If it's as full as that, well, no wonder it's backed up. The delights of buying an old property. My first appearance on camera is with our drains. How about that? Well, uh, exciting. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to call somebody because uh, okay, yeah. surgeon. Okay. Bad news. I called the emergency plumbing. Right. Let's talk about emergency. We can't have them before Friday. And Friday morning, we are at the other house. Okay. So, so meanwhile, we can't use the bathroom. Well, we're going to have to. We've got two other bathrooms, we need to find a solution. Yeah, but it all feeds into the same system. So whether it feeds, whether it comes from a shower or a toilet in another part of the house, it all feeds into one, one, uh, one system. Now we so need whether, to... it, whether it overflows because it comes from up, in fact it would be worse because there'll be a head of pressure, so it would push it up even higher. Well, we need to do a, a trial. Oh, well, a trial? Well, I, I, you can't argue with physics. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, try it. Okay, we, we, we try. We can use the, the other toilet anyway. Right. Over there, and then yeah. we, we try the bathroom. Uh, not upstairs, because it's so cold over there. <laughs> There's no meeting. <laughs> Down there. You know, I run the shower, for instance, and you, you go to the to the shower room here and see if it backs up, if it's, if it's bubbling. The... <laughs> <laughs> I get all the nice jobs. The plumber left late last night, so I'm going to show you what happened. So you can see we've got stuff everywhere. We have to move things around quickly for the plumber. Here is the door that leads to the to the drains under the sink. Here is an inspection trap that you can open. So the blockage was due to whatever the was had dried up in the drains because the house has not been used for a few years. So of course, because we started using the drains and everything, now things um, you know, are blocked. So he was using that part really, really, really hard to, to push and to unstick, if you like, that blockage. The plumber was here about between an hour and a half and two hours. There was two blockages between the shower and the sink between the sink and the drain outside and now the shower works everything is fine Whew, we have a shower that works now <laughs> there's not flutters so thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give us a like and i will see you in my next video au revoir